Good morning, everyone. I am so glad and so grateful to God that we are now on day 29. Wow. Day 29. Can you believe God's faithfulness? From day 1 to day 7. From day 8 to day 14. From day 15 to day 21. From day 21. Now we're on day 29. It is indeed and in truth the Lord's mercy. And I do not take for granted His grace that has helped us to go day by day, step by step. We are gradually rounding off season one, which is sowing the word. Like I said when we started, it's about sowing the scripture, taking a scripture a day and putting it in your spirit. It's not so much about exegesis or breaking it down. It's more about thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin again. I just want to hide the word of God in my heart. So that when situations and circumstances come, there will be a, for it is written, that will show up when that situation confronts me. And I trust God that every one of us will get to that point in preparation for season two. I'm already getting excited. Season two is praying the word. So we're going to trust God when we get to that point to take a scripture per day and pray with that scripture. And I trust God that God will even do greater things for you in Jesus' name. Today's scripture is also as instructive as the last one. It's taken from the book of Isaiah chapter number 60. I know Isaiah 60 is a very popular verse of, um, chapter of the Bible and a lot of people like it because of his verse 1 that says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Yes, but the Lord dropped verse 4 in my spirit and said, Dwell on verse 4 because there's somebody who is going to watch today who one way or the other will be going through a situation or circumstance that verse 4 will be appropriate for. I want to read again, or I want to read Isaiah chapter 60 verse 4. It says, lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Hallelujah. I want to read that again. I'm reading the New King James Version. It says, lift up your eyes all all around you and see he didn't say and look he said and see they all gather together they come to you your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your sign i sense in my heart that this is a prophetic scripture for somebody that number one the lord asks you to take your eyes off the problem of the circumstance of the situation and look and see rather he said, lift up your eyes all around you and see. You will see that there are more people that are for you in that situation than those that are against you. I want that to sink. This morning is not much about just reciting the scripture. It's a prophetic morning that God wants to speak to you. And I know that as you're listening, this word is hitting you. Number one, I want you to, want you to rest in your heart and in your spirit. That God wants you to lift up your head. As in, lift up your eyes and see. There are opportunities all around you. And God wants you to take your eyes off the problem and look at the opportunities. Because he has positioned the next thing there. He said, they all gather together. Now, if you do not lift up your eyes to see, you will not even see the garden of the people. God is bringing people your way. The second thing the Lord laid in my heart is, as you are lifting up your eyes, to see, you begin to perceive different people who are showing up in your life at this season. People that were not there. In other words, God is joining you to relationships. People are calling you. People are sending you messages. People are trying to get to want to do something with you. It is because of the season that you are in. Don't take it for granted. Don't be discouraged. Fan to flame those relationships because as the people are gathering from the midst of the people, your sons and your daughters, those who will be like Joshua's to Moses, those who will be like Elisha to Elijah are coming your way. Meaning that God is about to bring you to your own company to fulfill the destiny that he has proposed and prepared you for. This is the season for your life and destiny to manifest. I want to tell you that heaven is looking up to you to rise up in your spirit, to lift up your head and not let it hang down, 
Don't be discouraged. That's what I mean. that's what it means. Secondly, look around you. They are gathering. There's a gathering of great men and women, great sons and daughters who are coming around you and who will begin to help you to fulfill all that God has prepared for you and prepared you for. I trust God that as you meditate, it will make deeper meaning to you because this morning is not about everybody. It's about you. And I trust God that you will take your spirit and sink it in this word and allow the Holy Spirit to give you the inner message that is meant for you this season. I trust God to keep you and I trust God to strengthen you. This season, lift up your heads. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. And I say again, lift up your head. Stop looking down. Stop feeling sorrow and defeated. It's time for you to lift up your eyes from where it's commenced your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Stop looking at man. That uncle can't help you. That auntie can't help you. That brother or that sister that has promised can't help you. The people that will help you are gathering. Investors are coming your way. People that will put things in your business are coming your way. From this day, activate your faith. Lift your spirit above your emotion and begin to celebrate where you are because your sons will eventually show up after the manifestation of the garden of people around you. God bless you. God keep you. Don't forget, you can join us on Facebook, Back to the Bible. Or you can listen to us or listen to this message again over and over on www.masterpieceradio.com Till I come your way, remain under the grip and the covering of Jehovah. I love you, or God loves you more. God bless you.